I like it when you read that. Uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show host of the year. Let's see here. That's uh, right at the bottom. Right at the bottom. No, that's saw that's Sawtooth Willie. Hold that's on. Here. Okay, so right. oh, we got here <clears throat> is from Kyle Cousy Turner at Tales of Henshin, and he wanted to know what are two wrestlers that you would say you are surprised WWE hasn't signed but should have many years ago. That's a damn good big question. I like that one a lot. We're going to use it. Awesome. All right. Who's got one? And he wants two wrestlers from each of us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, do we have to pick two? I think it might be better if we just did one each. No, it is two. The question is two. Don't change the parameters of the question. That's right. Okay, I have two then. All right. Uh, okay, uh, Mike, what are your two? Kaz and Daniels. Kaz and Daniels. It's Mad Frankie Mike. Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels. Mad Mike is still dressed up for the Mayhem. He's, I'm really happy to see that, by the way. Uh, that, that's there. because I'm here to accept on behalf of NXT Brooklyn Sword. Okay, okay. Well, tell me first. Tell me about Kaz and Daniels, and before we get the Mayhem Mania, yes. we'll get your acceptance <laughs> speech. Kaz and Daniels. Uh, Christopher Daniels has been one of the stalwarts of independent wrestling, just in general, over the past right. ten years. Like he's been right there with Joe and AJ, who are now both in WWE, and I'd argue he's probably comparable in the ring as both of them, and. Definitely better on the mic than both of them. Yeah. Like why he is never made in WWE is astounding to me, and um, just the fact that his teaming with Chris with uh, Frankie Kazarian in the past couple of years, and how great they are together and how great they work together, like their act would work like gangbusters in WWE, especially against like teams like the New Day or if they wanted to go to NXT, Enzo and Cass, it'd be perfect. I see it. I can see it. I can see it. Eamon, surely Eamon has a pair that should be signed by the E. Oh, boy. Um, no, so I was saying that solely from longevity purposes and also just the the uh, the fact that like kind of like how uh, Mike mentioned, like their, their lasting ability uh, in indie wrestling, uh, the Briscoes. Um they've you know not been picked up by anyone really uh you know and, and that's very interesting to me because they're very talented they're still delivering great matches uh you know however many years later like they're they've got you know gimmicks that are in place and and they've got a following so i i, I they're they're ones that kind of stick out in my mind okay um i have one i have a pair i guess uh, first of all, uh, a guy that I've had a chance to the film in person, and uh, it and and I think it just does tremendous stuff whenever you see him. Um, I I think Matt, you'll agree. I think you're, you're another guy that's kind of impressed by this guy every time you see him in person as well. But I gotta go with Adam Cole, baby. I mean, baby. that is a baby. Uh, I mean, that's a guy just just with charisma out the ass. He knows how to do it. Um, and and I think he could do some pretty tremendous stuff. Uh, uh, up there. Also, the other guy that I think really, really makes sense is Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode. Um, I'm uh, certainly like I see him as more of a WWE guy than than James Storm that 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 had had a turn in NXT recently. Um, I, I he just makes sense to me. You know, I I, I don't know. I, I, I he seems like the right type of guy. He's got he's got a personality. He, he he's got great promo. Um, uh, uh, awesome in the ring, you know, with and without James Storm. Um, I think he definitely fits as, as something like that. So, um, LB, do you have one here? This is a difficult question for me. Okay. Uh, because my answer, my questions are my, they're, they got signed. <laughs> Cause forever, <laughs> forever would it, my answer would have been, uh, uh, AJ Styles and, uh, Smojo and they both now work for the WWE and anybody else that I think of works for the WWE now. Cause my, my next thought would be, Oh, Johnny Gargano fucking works for the WWE. Uh, 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 it, they're all, they're all already there. Um, I, I think, I think, no, I think I don't have an answer to this and that's a really good position to be in. Yeah, that's awesome. Or you're not watching enough indie wrestling. That is also the case. <laughs> you're not reading that around the indies column every week. No, apparently not. Uh, Matt Carlins, what about you? All right, you guys are going to laugh at me. 
but this is the first name that came to my mind. And he may have even done a stint in WWE, but I'm sure it's been a while. But the first name that came to my mind was Hernandez. I mean, <laughs> he just looks the part. Just a giant dude. Hispanic. You know, Latin American audience. That's what the supposedly WWE always seems to want. Here's a giant super max. He's super max. He's just a yeah. big dude. I mean, can he wrestle? You know, sometimes. He's all right. I don't think he's as bad as some other people do. But yeah. All right. What else? All right. Uh, we got a few more people joined us. So I'll line it up for the I, I, I get a second pick. Oh, a second. oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot there was two. I'll go real fast. Okay. No, I'll miss. No. Yeah. This is a guy who is way past two, and I believe he was even close to maybe making the jump. I've read that somewhere, but decided to stay with TNA. Uh, no, he talked dude, about just, that. He was ready to go. Yeah. I, I think he talked about that on, on uh, the Coca Cabana interview, to be honest. So You might be right, yeah. Yeah. All right. Like I said, a couple people have jumped on here, just like Mad Mike, uh, preparing for that Mayhem Mania uh, coming up here. Uh, so let's toss to... Find my button. Find my button. Let's go all all, all the way over to uh, the Elementals uh, abode. Uh, uh, Bobby F J Town is with us. Uh, do you do you have two lined up here, sir? Yeah, I've been I've been thinking about. I I have two. Actually, I have like more than two, but <laughs> I needed to narrow it down. Um, I'm gonna go can with. You throw, can you throw out an extra two because I couldn't come up with any? Do you want me to? <laughs> Yeah, can you cover me? Can you okay, cover me? I'll cover for Lunchbox. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with Red Dragon for Lunchbox. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. Mr. Bobby Fish and Mr. Kyle O'Reilly. I completely agree wholeheartedly. <laughs> and then uh, I, my I two. I really like Bobby Fish. Actually. I couldn't agree more on O'Reilly. Yeah, yeah. Kyle O'Reilly needs to be in WWE or NXT or wherever he's going to turn up. Um, I'm going to go with Kenny Omega. Nice. And I'm going to go with Candice LeRae. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. I like it, Bobby. Uh, she need, she's, she's at the forefront of the Divas Revolution in the Indies. I think she should be at the forefront in the Divas Revolution in NXT or WWE. So there we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Also joining us from California is Alex Cars. Uh, what, what are your picks? Um. Let's see. Okay, so I got two pretty simple ones. Uh, and it's funny because both of them kind of, like, they did stuff in WWE. They, you know, kind of in the background. One of them is Joey Ryan. Hmm. Um, I feel like he could he could work well with just about anything that the WWE could have thrown at him. And, you know, in all honesty, and the little bit of work he had as a background character, he did just that. Uh, and the other one is Scorpio Sky, who, if you remember the uh, anger management classes <laughs> sketches, he was Harold. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. as far as I'm concerned, that should have led to something with him being on there more regularly. So, those are my two. Awesome. And, and we do have, of course, uh, plenty of picks. Uh, coming in from uh, the chat room and even the chat room via Twitter. Uh, Tragar out there is saying uh, Sanjay Dutt and Ruckus are Ooh, what guys that should be in there. Fun. There you go. Uh, and second in uh, uh, Wheels is saying Sanjay Dutt and R- Amazing Red, both guys that we've seen in the Renegade Wrestling Alliance down here in West Newton. Uh, uh, great guys. Um, and uh, also, we have a few other picks. I might need help with these guys. Let's go with Riz first. Okada and Dalton Castle, he's saying. Mm-hmm. I'm with that. I'm with that. Our boy Dalton. Uh, Garza, uh, really surprised they haven't signed Ibasan and El Hiro del Pirata Morgan. El Hijo del Pirata Morgan. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know these also, ones. Also, I'm surprised um, none of us, none of us here said the Mayhemi winning tag team of the year, the Young Bucks. I don't see it. Well, anyway, no, 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 no. Gonna, I, I don't see it. That was actually good other. Yeah. That was, I, that been, I almost said that. And then at the last minute, I thought about Joey and Scorpio. I don't think the Young Bucks work in WWE. Oh, I think they do. That, my I personal opinion. WWE, there's a room for a tag team like the if, if, they, if they can bring in, if they, AJ can bring in the Young Bucks. That's cool. how it works. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it, it would have to be. And, and they completely like come in with a chip on their shoulder. 
uh, like is, which is pretty much how they operate, right? Uh, yeah. That could be fun. That could certainly be fun. But, but I think it could also be a cool, like, with the narrative they're kind of going right now with AJ in particular, where it's like you are nothing unless you make it in the WWE. Yeah, like, that's such a cool narrative they could tell with the Bucks being in there, being like, we don't really care about making it in the WWE. We know we're great. Yeah, like, well, it, I, don't they kind of drive that home with Sting as well? You know, yeah. hey, look yeah. at this guy that's done all these things, and now he finally made it to WrestleMania, right? Like, like, like now he's <laughs> made it after all these years. Um, yeah. You know, I, you know, he got his spot. You know, and, and we can move on from there. Um, um, so the young, the young bucks are actually at the uh, Super Kick uh, after party, Miami Super Kick <laughs> after party. That's right. That's right. Putting it all um, down. I, if I can add one more thing about the young bucks in WWE, uh, let's be honest: the WWE loves to have as much uh, callback to the Attitude Era as possible. And with the way the Young Bucks act on the Indies, I mean, come on. Like, but are you sure they wouldn't ascension them and be like, you're trying to be something else, and then they would have DX come out and beat them up, and then you have the NWO. Yeah, that's that probably fear. what would happen. But it, see, if WWE was like Lucha Underground, someone would have cast a spell on Triple H and Shawn Michaels to shrink them to child size, and it would just be the Young Bucks. It's a DX reboot. <laughs> <laughs> DX reboot! Oh my god, yes. Wasn't it like a transporter mishap on Star Trek The Next Generation one time? Where they, yeah, uh, J.J. JJ Abrams. The movie, the transporter? J.J. Abrams presents the Young Bucks. <laughs> it's the Gen- <laughs> Generation X. I love it. Or the Young Bucks just step out of a TARDIS and say, hey, we're the Hardy Boys from 1996. (laughs) (laughs) And they're wearing horrible tie-dye. Well, that aside, hey...